In our first reading of Exodus, we see the establishment of Passover, of at what great price God calls his people to freedom, and at that price that it is never to be forgotten. Jesus, in the Last Supper, following that commandment of the Passover, takes and offers to it a new and eternal meaning of this is my body and this is my blood, of what is being offered, not just looking at where it came from with Moses and Aaron, but in our life looking at the body and blood of Jesus made present in the Eucharist that we might give thanks. But I know for myself, it's one of the very important milestones in scripture that I look at and I look at Pharaoh and say, what is the matter with you? Here with the different signs that Moses performs by God, you cannot come to an understanding of what God is asking. And then I look at reality of my own life. How many times have I been so obstinate to what God's doing around me and in my life? And not recognizing it, as one friend would say, sometimes you just need two by four therapy. And it's like a whack on the side of the head. Because God does so much for each of us, and as we listen to the scriptures, and as we listen to Jesus today in the gospel, the good news, it's like, how do we not see what he asks of us? His love, his grace, his mercy is profound. And each day, he gives us a new day because the day prior, at least for me, probably messed up quite a bit. But he gives me a new day to start fresh and new and to know of his grace. And then on top of that, to be able to celebrate the Eucharist, to be able to celebrate that thanks and goodness and realizing it's mercy that I seek, not the sacrifice, not sacrifice. I always love the etymology of the word because it, sacrifice, oftentimes it's like, okay, what do I have to give up? It's understanding actually is, it's holy work, it's what do I do? How do I make this lifted up for the glory of God? And as we celebrate today, the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, we look at that example of our Blessed Mother who, saying yes to the will of God, offers to us that example of not being obstinate, but the fiat of your will. I'm open. And that's where I look at, you know, how do I seek to show that mercy? God's always trying to seek to show and call me to his love. How do I share that love with those who I meet? This day, may our Blessed Mother continually help us and as we celebrate Our Lady of Mount Carmel for all the Carmelites, for all those who devote their life, for all those who wear the brown scapular, that God's love and mercy continually calls us through the intercession of our Blessed Mother to share that goodness aware of God's love, may we continually strive to seek to know and share that mercy with one another.